Next, I'd like to introduce Ro Malik, who is Senior VP and Assistant General Counsel at City. Uh, he has been an active volunteer with Vol the Vols Unemployed Workers Project uh, and is actively recruiting other members of his department to volunteer. He actually first volunteered with us uh, as a SCADN associate and carried that spirit of volunteering with him when he joined Citigroup as Assistant General Counsel. Uh, in response to the COVID-19 crisis, we relaunched a 10-year-old project and hotline that had served New Yorkers during the Great Recession in order to field questions from people who were attempting to claim state unemployment insurance or pandemic unemployment insurance. Vol staff recruited and trained pro bono attorneys to assist with the unprecedented volume of unemployed workers seeking guidance and answers to unemployment insurance issues. We utilized our broad network of pro bono volunteers at law firms and companies, and we responded, as Ian pointed out, to over 700 callers and trained over 100 pro bono attorneys. So, Ro, welcome, and thanks for joining us. Thanks very much, Pete. Uh, it's nice to be here um, uh, remotely. Um, I first learned about the Vols Unemployment Workers Project as a mergers and acquisitions attorney several years ago at Skadden Arts from Brennan Devaney, uh, Skadden's head of pro bono. Uh, every few weeks in the middle of some active M&A negotiation, I re receive an email, usually with a list of very interesting cases of people who had not received their unemployment benefits that they should have been entitled to. As an M&A attorney, I tend to focus on drafting, analyzing, and negotiating contracts to buy and sell businesses. So at first, when I saw the list of cases, I hesitated to take one on, unsure of my litigation skills. But the Vol staff reassured me that I could handle it and worked with me hand in glove to represent claimants. Plus, I never wanted to lose the advocacy skills I acquired in law school, as well as the personal commitment to workers' rights that led me to the law in the first place. Since embarking on a legal career more than a decade ago, I've worked on several pro bono matters, but none compared to the level of one-on-one -on -one client engagement and partnership that the Vols Unemployment Workers Project provided me. One of my most interesting Vols pro bono engagements was representing an unemployment relief claimant who had initially represented himself pro bono, pro se. The, the, transcript that I, <clears throat> uh, the transcript that I read from his initial hearing indicated that he continued to interrupt the judge and the other party without directly answering questions. He also failed to address the accusations leveled at him. The judge ruled against him, revoking any future benefits and applying a fine to him for wanton deception. I appealed his case to the Department of Labor to remove the fines and restore his benefits in partnership with Vols. I clarified that his forms and initial testimony reflected inadvertent error and not wanton deception or disregard for the law. With Vols, I coached the claimant on how to answer the questions from the administrative law judge and helped calm many of his fears and also brought in a witness to, on his behalf. Since the witness's English language skills were limited, I had to prepare him using my elementary Spanish at the time, which after this case rose perhaps to an intermediate level. We were able to win on the key count at issue, and I appealed the secondary account to a higher New York appeals court in a written petition. Since that case, I moved from law firm practice at SCAD into an in-house M&A role at Citigroup. At City, I have led several pro bono initiatives. The one which I am most invested now is building a new pro bono partnership between City and Vols, one that I am undertaking with Olga Medjuk and Tori Roseman, the fearless leaders of the unemployment, Vols Unemployment Workers Project. As Olga and Tori can attest, the Vols Unemployment Workers Project hotline has been ringing off the hook to help recently unemployed workers in desperate need of understanding what benefits they are entitled to. The CARES Act and Pandemic Unemployment Compensation Fund are often unwieldy and confusing. For workers who recently lost their jobs due to the pandemic, to know that having Vols and partners organizations like City in their corner can relieve some of that anguish. I'm proud to help lead City's efforts in partnering with such an important organization and Vols at such a critical and trying time for workers in our nation. That's great. Thank you so much, Ro. Um, and, and, and really great to hear about that emerging partnership and, and building that up at your organization.